I had to start. I had to turn the debate off though. Like after like an hour, I'm like, I can't take this anymore. I just I can't. And really, if I was constitutionally allowed to run, which I'm not yet, I would just run and I would win. But it's just not. It's not time yet. Maybe next I'm, time. I'm, I'm excited for that time when the time comes. Maybe next time. You'll be my foreign policy advisor. Sure. What do you think we should do? Uh, what do you think we should do in Eastern Europe as a, a, a NATO buffer, you know, against Russia? What do you think? What do you think about that? You know, what if R- Russia rolls into, let's say, Poland? Yeah. Um, and Poland um, uh, activates uh, Article Five. Sure. What What do we do then? Here's the thing, Colin. Are you aware there's people homeless in the United States? People who can't feed themselves in the United States? People who can't pay their rent in the United States? I don't give a flying fuck what's happening in Poland. Huh. We got to fix the American economy. Thank you. Minorities are good. No more 9-11s. Now, let's be real. I would win. I think we all know that. Mayonnaise is going to make America great again. And so we're going to really establish that. Greg's going to be my foreign policy advisor. Portillo is going to be the secretary of the Department of Energy. And that's and, the big thing. Yeah. Poland wants my help. Where was Poland when Katrina hit? Thank you. I'm going to do that. And then we're going to move people out of New Orleans. You're dumb to live there. Sounds very expensive. We'll make Mexico pay for it. I assume we're annexing them pretty quick once we get in. Yeah. But, you know, who knows what, who knows what the future might hold? Sure. Why not me? I mean, have you ever, have you ever, have you ever asked yourself that? Why not Colin Moriarty for president? 